Hello Sagittarius, this is Julie with Into Heart Space, looking at the energy surrounding you for November of 2016. So here we are, and we're going to get straight into it. I call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. For Sagittarius, November 2016, what energies are surrounding Sagittarius? What messages do I need to tell my Sagittarians? Okay, so as I was saying that, a word kept popping in. <coughs> hope. So the word hope for my Sagittarians. What messages? Hope. Give in to your hope. I keep getting this kind of cryptic message from higher energies. Give in to hope. Okay, let's see what comes up. Mm, this one. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have <coughs> the King of Cups, the Lovers Reversed, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, the Fool, Six of Discs, Eight of Wands, Page of Swords Reversed, Six of Swords, Six of Cups, Two of Discs, and the Magician. Okay. <coughs> So in the center, I'm going to pull um, a clarifier card for the king. King of Cups. So this is the energy that is throughout November, is this King of Cups energy. And I feel like this is Sagittarius, even though you're a fire sign. Um, I feel like this is you, even though um, it's a water sign. So I think you're going to be exhibiting some of the qualities of the, the King of Cups, which is... Um, being connected emotionally with your with people surrounding you, uh, being connected with your own emotions, being able to make a clear decision, even in the even in the face of um, emotional doubt. But even though you're going to be able to do that, a challenge will be that um, you won't necessarily ah this is it. You're going to have hope. You you're going to need to use hope. Hope will be where where your impetus for everything will be. Hope and faith. Because you will not be able to see the outcome. You will not be able to see how it's going to turn out. It's not going to be clear. And you're going to have to go on that gut instinct. And trust your gut. Trust your gut. Even if it feels like, even if it looks like it's not going to pan out trust trust that that inner inner strength it's going to guide you correctly okay so in the love area we have the lovers reversed three of cups and then the queen of cups so i mean this is truly a love a love sector with you know the cups being there and then the lovers of course but the lovers are in reverse so i feel like you're going to be giving kind of a facade in a way that you um you want to break out of a relationship, that you want to break out of a contract, that you want to let something go, and and you don't know necessarily how to do it, so you might be um, just ignoring the situation and going out and having fun with your friends, 
and instead of actually dealing with the situation head on, you are um, kind of slinking around the edges and being like, oh no, everything's fine, everything's fine, I'm good, I'm good. And then you're going to satisfy yourself with, um, with uh, going out with others instead of actually taking care of the person that you love at home and treating them with, with um, the respect that they deserve. Um, and saying, you know what, I don't feel comfortable in this relationship. I don't feel like this is where I want to be. And and it just, at this point, Sagittarius, I feel like you just, um, you feel like that's going to be harder to do than just ignoring the situation. But the truth is that you, you definitely need to deal with it head on instead of, um, instead of um, doing what you're doing. And because it's making them feel bad, what you're doing right now because they can see it. They see you going out. They see you having fun and it's not with them. And so they already understand that something is wrong, but it's up to you to let them know exactly what's going on. And it can also be in the reverse that somebody's doing this to you. And if you if this is if you're receiving this energy, then it's uh, you know, it you have to act in both cases the like the queen of cups. You have to arise and push through those emotions even though it's difficult. Um, so if somebody is um, not being honest with you, they're not necessarily doing anything negative towards you. They're just ignoring you, which in a way I think can be the worst of it all because you never know you're in the dark. Um, if they are doing that to you, then rise up, my beautiful kings and queens, and face it on and um, stand in your strength and say, you know what, this is not how I... Uh, re this is not how I deal with relationships. This is not how I do relationships. And so I, I need you to be honest with me and let me know what's going on. If you're not feeling it, then I need to know because I deserve more than that. And if you are not feeling the person that you're with or the person you're dating or somebody that you're interested in anymore, then, you know, instead of just ghosting out, um, let them know, let them know, like, you know what, I think you're a, a wonderful human, I just can't be with you right now, you know, that m means so much more than just not returning their calls. In the family area, we have the nine of swords, the fool, and then the six of discs. So something is worrying you, um, you're, you're concerned in your family. So how I see it is, you know, it could be you, but I think it's somebody in your family, and it could be also um, linked in love that, you know, you are <laughs> um, worried about your, your partner. But here we have the fool, so I feel like you are worried about somebody's actions being um, foolish, you know, not being thought out, not having a really good plan. And Sagittarius, you are like the, the most fun to be around. Like you are the life of the party. People always want you to be around because you're funny, you're witty, and you know, you um, have no problem meeting new people and uh, dancing and having a joyous time. Like you guys are really outgoing and it's really fun for everyone around you. Um, but for some reason you could be worried about somebody because they are overzealous about that or being, uh, or doing it for the wrong reasons, not because they love to do it, but because they're ignoring their, their responsibilities, um, or trying to just douse some sorrow with, with this action. And I feel like it's, you have, you have, um, the capacity to talk to them and be part of their life and kind of school them in a way uh, like say hey listen I understand what you're going through I've been there too I understand it completely but this is you know we need to shift this this energy needs to shift what you're doing is toxic for you and everyone around you and I don't want to see that happen to you okay and like let them know that you know you're worried you're you're up at night, you wake up in the middle of the night thinking about them and what's going on and, you know, lend a hand, you know, lend a hand to the, that unfortunate person who's going through that because it, you know, it, it's very challenging and sometimes all they need is to be acknowledged and acknowledge that this is a tough time and um, that they're not alone. So you have, you have that gift to give. So I, I, I truly do hope that you can give that to somebody in your family. And if you need this, if that, if that is you, that you are 
um, going out and partying too hard because you're full of sorrow, um, find somebody in your family that you respect and admire and say, hey, I'm just not in a good space. And they will be able to connect with you and, um, you know, hold space for you. All right, so then in our career and work, we have Eight of Wands, um, Page of Swords in reverse, and then the Six of Swords. So some of you may be leaving your job. Some of you um, may be shifting in your job. I don't see it as necessarily you guys getting fired. I feel like it's just, you know, you've been getting some different opportunities, you've been getting some different choices, and you've decided to take them. And some of you who are on the fence, will definitely, like, who are teeter-tottering, like, should I stay in my job or should I go? Um, you'll get pushed to go because we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So, you know, they're, they're, they could be crossing you in a way for, um, to benefit themselves and not to help you out. So they could be kind of sneaky. They could be, um, saying things to other people that, um, are not true or they're just exaggerating situations, or they could be saying things that are true but aren't necessary, don't need to be said, but they're just doing it because it makes them look better, it makes them feel better, and um, it could be directed, you know, towards you and, and your actions. Um, and so that could be like the last straw for you of like, forget this, I was wondering if I should leave, I was wondering if I should carry on with this job, but obviously it's time for me to go. And if you do decide to make that choice um, to go, I think it's it's definitely the right one to do. You're going to move on to something better and you're going to leave this page of swords behind. You're going to just pass them. Um, and yeah, you have a lot. And if you aren't thinking of leaving your job, then you're going to just have a lot of work on your plate and, um, you know, a different tasks given to you and people might be a little short and um, you know just not exactly the most friendly about doing asking you to do certain things so you're but I don't think it's your boss I think it could be a co-worker um, who's doing this who's who's possibly younger than you and that could be kind of annoying too like they don't even know I've been doing this job since they were a baby you know kind of feeling um, and that could make you question if you should stay there or at least shift something in your work. Now, if you're not thinking of shifting, then this is also just symbolizing you need to take walks during the day. Get out of the office when you're there. Get out of your job. Clear your head in the fresh air. Walk around. Just, you know, take some time during the day. Um, and that will make your work much more manageable. In finance, we have Six of Cups, Two of Discs, and The Magician. So you're trying to balance your finances, but it's not um, in a negative. I feel like you you are actually quite abundant, Sagittarius, and uh, you could be getting... Um, you could be getting something from a family member. You should you could be getting an inheritance, and uh, you don't really know what to do with it. Like, you're like, oh, I didn't expect that. You know, you could be getting a gift from someone, and and it seems and it's completely out of the blue you know you're just like whoa i i had never you know and it's perfect timing you know for the for the winter and holiday season um and so i think that that could be um, a big benefit for you and so you could turn that into um something very beneficial but just be careful that you don't just lavishly spend it and like go be like, I'm going to go to Peru or Milan or Paris or, you know, just somewhere um, extravagant. Uh, if you, if you're just doing it on a whim, like I'm just going to go there. Like, I think, you know, this is kind of saying, weigh it out, balance it out, see what is really worthwhile and that'll raise you. Um, Cause we have the magician. So it's like, you know, once again, it's kind of a magical feel and you have everything just at your fingertips that you can use. So just make sure that you're, um, you're doing something that you will definitely benefit from now and in the future. So, I, I mean, I, if you go to Peru, let me know, cause I think that would be amazing. And, um, I'll hide in your suitcase, Sagittarius. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's call on the angels to see what added guidance we have for November. 
All right, angels, what's the added message for my Sagittarians for November 2016? And there's two. <clears throat> the first one is you are profoundly clairvoyant. And the second one is the God box. Okay, so the first one, you are proudly, profoundly uh, clairvoyant, says, Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight, for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Yeah, absolutely, Sagittarius. And then with the God box, it says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you get. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to start over. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. All right. So here we go. Like this is, if you have some, some some problems, some issues with work, I mean, with family, you have some things that are just like teeter-tottering and you're just like, hmm, I don't know what to do. This is a great God box. It's just saying, write it down and let it go and the divine will help you. Um, it's often when we are stuck and there's, we don't necessarily have control over the situation. We, we can't control the person who's out of control. We can't control um, a co-worker who's being nasty but what we can do is control our reaction to it and the energy we put into it so by creating well by writing your worries and concerns and desires on the paper and then giving it away you are giving it to the higher energy to see it and deal with it um, and help you along and you might be getting messages in regards to these these problems to these um, inquiries that you give um, to your god box um, through clairvoyant messages. So if you, you know, get that funny feeling, you get that hunch, um, very, very much so listen to it. And that's what, um, you know, is at the center of your, your reading is like, follow your, your hunch. Yeah. In all of these areas is whatever you do. If you feel that tingle, listen to it. All right, Sagittarius, if you would like a personal reading, contact me on my website and we can set that up. Uh, also, you can friend me on Facebook and get um, get some love in there from me. Um, I think I'm going to start um, an email list, but I don't know if that'll start until, oh, I don't know, probably January. All right, thank you so much, Sagittarius. Much love and joy and blessings.